Hello, I'm Angus Wilson and I'd like to welcome you to my studio and take a few minutes to introduce you to some of my new paintings that are with Jones and Terwilliger Galleries who are in Carmel and Palm Desert in California. Uh, you know, as an artist it can be a little hard to talk about your own work and I think as a still life painter that's especially true. There's only so much I can say about uh, how I feel about some blue irises or a juicy slice of watermelon. <laughs> However, um, I do probably have a lot to say about what motivates me as an artist and how I approach each painting. I'd say at first glance, my work is very approachable with traditional flower arrangements, um, beautiful colors, you know, dramatic colors. And they're supposed to look that way. I want people to be engaged by them and drawn in. These are not paintings to be hung on a wall and forgotten about, you know. I want people to look at them um, and to really enjoy them. But you know that uh, approachability is also deceptive. I think when you stop and you really study them, you realize that there's something subtle going on there. Perhaps there's a little more um, happening inside the painting than you first realized. And for, for example, you know, each painting is really painted almost three times, which is a time consuming process. And there's an immense amount of thought, planning, design that goes into each and every painting. And I think that that quality sort of shows within the work. And hopefully you can also see that I'm truly passionate about color. You know, many times it's color that drives and influences the painting itself. For example, early on in the composition stages, of the painting titled uh, Lily Arrangements with Ocean Tones. I think before I even started painting that, I knew the title of that work and I knew that I wanted to use the colors of the ocean in that background drape to sort of inspire the whole painting. And it's those blue swirls in the background that lead us down into the flowers and across the, the table arrangements that just, I think, make it so interesting as a painting. And as an artist, I think it's my job to present the unexpected. I've always been passionate about trying to create paintings that surprise the viewer's expectations. If I asked you to close your eyes and like and imagine a still life or even a landscape painting, I don't imagine you'd picture my works. Well, not unless you had great taste, but um, that, to my point, that's incredibly important to me. I want to produce something that's just singularly unique. You know, it's instantly recognizable as my own, as an Angus painting, but it's completely different from everyone else and what's normally produced. And in that vein, I believe as artists, you should always be growing and evolving. You know, in recent years, I've been trying to experiment with backgrounds within the still life arrangements. I've been exploring how I can adjust the colors and those background elements creating more sort of abstract shapes and different blocks of color that interact and complement with uh, the foreground table arrangements. And you know, I'm, that's, that's an element that for me is always sort of developing and growing and changing as I go. Um, and this can be seen in a number of my paintings, including uh, rose and watermelons on red. I mean, that's a great example. The framing of those colors in the background, pushing us towards the central bouquet and down into the table arrangement. There's so much, you know, I don't know, color and drama in that painting. And um, as our eyes sort of drawn around it, it's very engineered where our eyes should go within that framework. And sometimes it's a particularly small element in a painting that excites me. So when I began the painting Japanese vase with lemons on red, I was really looking forward to painting that old friend, the ginger jar. He's been in, over the years I've had it for a, for a long time and it's been in a number of my paintings. And I was looking forward to painting that. But as I progressed with the painting, the complexities of that flower bouquet kind of really got me excited. And it was those flowers that I think ultimately really make that painting special. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this small introduction to some of my paintings. Um, and uh, I encourage you to go to Jones Terwilliger Galleries or check them out online and see what other works I didn't have a chance to talk about now. 
and you never know, maybe you'll find a painting in there that you can fall in love with or be passionate about, just, just like I am.